giving someone the cold shoulder. This does not mean that you're putting an ice cube on their shoulder, contrary to popular belief. This expression originated during the Middle Ages in Europe. This one actually had more than one meaning to begin with. It referred to any guest who had stayed longer than welcome. These people were served cold beef shoulder until the guest finally got the hint. The second use of this phrase referred to leftover mutton which was saved only to give to the poor as to discourage them from begging. Either way, that's awful. Don't give someone the cold shoulder. Speaking of animal products, have you ever heard of quitting something cold turkey? Meaning, all at once? This term is in reference to the physical state that addicts fall into when withdrawing from a drug addiction. Their skin turns white and bumpy, similar to that of an uncooked turkey. Are all of these expressions a little too much to learn at once? Do you want me to put a sock in it? Well, I'll be quiet, but first, a quick explanation. Back in the day, gramophones didn't have any volume control knobs, so to turn the volume down, you had to put a sock in the amplification trumpet. I don't own any socks, so I'm just going to enjoy this old-school gramophone in all of its loud glory.